Hi, this is Jyoti, the official podcaster for Kanai 2010. We have a very prominent personality with us, our Ramaraj, Tai Chennai Chapter President. Thank you, sir. We are, it's a pleasure for having you on board. And uh, the first question which comes to my mind when I meet you is, what is the entrepreneurial strength of India going to be? Uh, till maybe 10, 12 years ago, we've been living with a mental attitude of managing its case. So everything is licensed uh, and therefore used to uh, a mental attitude of scarcity. From there to say that the world is our opportunity uh, is I think a big shift. We've seen many entrepreneurs uh, take to that quite well and very quickly. Uh, Airtel, so Nikola, I think, is, is one great example. TVS Motors here is another great example of people who have taken advantage of this opportunity and moved on. So, uh, I would think this is uh, moving from a scarcity oriented mindset to one of the uh, global opportunities. There are entrepreneurs who succeed, there are entrepreneurs who fail. It is not the novelty or the idea behind. There is there's one particular difference that makes or breaks the success. Every entrepreneur would have faced a situation like that. Could you tell us one particular situation, how you face and how you overcame that difficulty? I think one of the challenges, uh, I would think there are two challenges. One is that entrepreneurship is means commitment and a fair amount of perseverance and the ability to see both good and bad times. It's not lifestyle. It's something that you have to uh, be committed to the same. Second is that often there is serious pressure of fear failure. So one example is that uh, we wanted to list on NASDAQ as SIFI when I used to be the uh, co-founder and CEO of SIFI. Uh, we had looked at all options and we decided that the right option for Siti at that time was to list on NASDAQ. It would be then the first internet company and second company under any category from India. So it was like Columbus thinking we might fall off the edge of the world. We are going into completely unknown territory. Uh, one of our core members actually had a serious uh, concern and fear of failure and uh, was not willing to come forward uh, and come along. Uh, so uh, we had to then shrink our team and move on. So consistency, perseverance, and I think it takes a lot of money uh, to pursue it. The rural IT sector is also growing now. And Sifi is the first one who started internet cafes in all over India. What, what is your vision for rural sector to grow? How do you think it has to manifest itself? I think talent, there are two views I, I, I have currently in, my, in, in some of the endeavors that I do. Uh, one is that working with micro credit, and therefore see uh, women in some of these rural areas and how they cope uh, with opportunities, challenges, etc. Second is uh, in terms of looking at students uh, going into uh, tier 2, tier 3 cities and meeting engineering and MBA students, etc. You see that they have both have aspirations uh, and it's a lot of hope and all wanting to find ways uh, to, to come up and to compete and succeed in the world. So there's hope, there's aspiration. There is ambition and, and all of that is fantastic energy when you go there and meet these people. Uh, there have been some experiments of trying to see how to get them the skill sets of entrepreneurship. One example I've seen which has succeeded very well is a company called Next Wealth. Next Wealth has decided to try out uh, a rural PPO kind of operation out of uh, sale started with 15, 20 people, I think they are well over 200 in less than a year. Uh, so it looks like, and those people are doing quality work uh, and uh, are extremely committed. 
So he's seeing passion, he's seeing uh, uh, commitment, quality, so there's no challenge because you're going into tier 3 or tier 4 or rural, that quality may suffer. Um, so it looks like great quality, great commitment, low attrition, uh, all that thing they need is exposure, education, exposure, some networking, and a little bit of a help to get that job started. That's very beautiful. It's not special. What is the advice you give to entrepreneurs, current entrepreneurs and young achievers of India? I would think first is not to be afraid of failure. Uh, I think we need to focus on the quality of our action. Even the great Tendulkar sometimes stumbles in the 90s. The podcast uh, uh, Therefore, focus on the quality of the action and, and I think you can succeed. Uh, look forward as much to Monday mornings as you do to Friday evenings. Because if you're an entrepreneur, I think all days of the week should be as motivational and as inspiring because that's why you're really chosen to be an entrepreneur. Uh, and three is that be committed, don't be frightened, uh, and just pursue it. Get in, you know, network. There are days when you need to talk to somebody in the network types. Uh, all days are not great days. You want to have some shoulder, get network. Ties a great place, uh, get network, and you will have some support. But I think this is a time of great opportunity, and I think young entrepreneurs should get up and pursue their dreams. Thank you, sir. It was wonderful talking to you and very inspiring to Thank you. Thank you.